It's a beautiful day, I'm in Bilbo's house, and we're making a neckbeard video. Oh yeah, that's amazing, I love that. Yeah, so my room looked really ugly today, so I decided to use my green screen. You know, so I'm in somebody else's house. And yeah, my word am I feeling like a true gentleman. People who address girls as females cannot be trusted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've read this before, but it's probably a good thing we're reading it again. If somebody calls women females, <laughs> don't listen to them. They're scary, okay? A Victorian etiquette tip. The duty of the rejected suitor is quite clear. Etiquette demands that he shall accept the lady's decision as a final and retire from the field. <laughs> he has no right to demand the reason of her refusal. Yeah, are you listening, nice guys? This is what you do if you're a true gentlemen. Oh, what's that? You're not interested in me and you're rejecting me? That's okay. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I pity everyone who isn't us. My girlfriend between her 25th and 26th um, <laughs> orgasmo of the night. Yeah, this reads like someone who has never had sex before writing an adult movie. Yeah, <laughs> they're joking, aren't they? Oh, I pity everyone who isn't us. <laughs> like anybody would say that anyway. R slash makeup addiction. Taken with my friend's nice camera, so better quality. Oh, you've got way too much makeup on. Unnatural. I love my women with no makeup on. That makes a woman beautiful, not looking like clowns. And also they take care of themselves. I see lines on your forehead and a lot of acne on your face. Ew. Um, do you see the subreddit you're on? I'm sorry that you spend so much time doing the solo diddly to cartoon characters that you don't know what real skin looks like. Yeah, that was a horrible comment. And if I wasn't sitting in my hobbit hole right now, I'd be a lot more upset. I played spin the bottle with my girl last night and uh, things may have gotten a little bit crazy. I think I'm a little bit out of my depth, guys. Let's just say she knows how to rock it in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, but they're joking. Looks like it's your lucky night <laughs> and their tails wagging. Hmm, nervous. <laughs> this is how restaurant servers are tricking you into giving bigger tips. Shine lip gloss, blonde hair and let down, southern accent and smiling, manicured nails, booty shorts and squatting next to the table. I don't think anybody's tricking you into anything, dude. Neck beard dating tips. If she says that she's in the shower, respond with without me. Two, say where my hug at whenever you see her in real life. She's gonna mess with it. <laughs> if she leaves you on open keep texting until she responds shows you care oh yeah don't leave somebody alone that's a great advice <laughs> call yourself ugly a lot so she will compliment you works 100% of the time yeah something tells me this isn't the best advice if she leaves you on red you just message her every five seconds <laughs> and you make sure you call her a thousand times you know just make sure she knows that you've lost your mind. Knock, knock. Wojak san, it's me, Masaki, your new girlfriend, as assigned by the Mandatory World Repopulation Program. Are you there? The Mandatory World Repopulation Program. <laughs> you know, saying that the only reason somebody would be with you is because it was their job on a repopulation program, that's not very good. Every man has two fantasies. All odds are against us lads we shall hold no matter the cost let us die with honor and glory for something greater than ourselves and then i'm all yours ready to be banged <laughs> yeah see you guys <laughs> oh my god thank you for opening the door for me machamp <laughs> ah <laughs> oh it's a pokemon i didn't know what was going on machamp is like that 
boxing Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah, the one that has four arms and is super buff and also a neck beard. First tattoo, I had to get the greatest idol in the universe. Yeah, so you can do whatever you want with your body and you can get any sort of tattoos you like. But yeah, that's quite the questionable choice. How to talk like an alpha. When can I see you again? No, I noticed you had a good time with me. Let's plan another date. I love making people happy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you say that? Do you want to go out to eat something? No, no, no. Be ready in a couple of hours. I know a restaurant with good food. Are you free on Saturday? No, the alpha thing to say. Make your Saturday free. We got something to do. I'm giving you superior dating advice. Hit the plus, bro. What the hell? That's superior dating advice? Being bossy and aggressive and rude? Oh, sorry. An alpha. Meanwhile, in an alternative universe... <laughs> oh, where's my gentleman? <laughs> His Dorito-stained fingertips. <laughs> I want them running through my hair. Oh, my God. I watched Shrek the other day. I didn't realize how good of a neck beard he'd make. That looks so convincing, and it sort of hurts me how similar we look right now. Literally the same. Sadness. <laughs> what would you do if you were the opposite sex for a day? Hopefully, Miss Me would be ovulating, so I'd retrieve the eggs and store them cryogenically, then wait for the clock to tick until I get a ding-dong, and then I'd get the spermatosa from the aforementioned ding-dong and chuck it in with the eggs using IVF. Hopefully, I'm fertile, and a lucky sperm will make its way to the thick egg and fertilize it, and voila! I'm a proud father. I'm literally tearing up. The child will have me as his strict but fun dad. And he's a loving and supportive mum. What about you? <laughs> I'm gonna need a while to process that. Grown ass men are out here not eating fruit or vegetables or washing their face and having a list of things that women must do to be attractive to them <laughs> and thus gain their respect. Yeah, it's that whole would you be attracted to you or would you like you if you were somebody else? I can't believe I'm saying all this while wearing a fedora. <laughs> the reason that male comic book fans work themselves into a frenzied rage over fake geek girls is because they think that they can't get a girlfriend because of their love for comic books, aka nerdiness. If they accept that geek girls genuinely love comic books, then they're left with the cold, harsh reality that it's not their nerdiness that makes makes them unattractive to women, but the fact that they're misogynistic, condescending ding-dong bags who need to be avoided at all costs. Yeah, it's the same thing when people are like, oh, you just don't like me because I'm not six foot five. You know, like, I don't think that's what's really going on. Okay, wholesome memes time. Oh, what's the matter, babe? You haven't even touched your Shrekfest. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> babe, I'm sorry. It's too beautiful to eat. I can't ruin this. Hey, CPU, come sit with us. I, I, I'm sorry, but I don't speak your language. That's okay. We brought a translator for ya. Aww, <laughs> the happiest little computer parts. Stress from work. The cup of tea I have after calling it a day. <laughs> Aww, that is really wholesome. Having a cup of tea after work. Stranger walks past my house. My dog. I will protect my people. <laughs> this has definitely been a weird one. I'm wearing a fedora in front of a green screen. If somebody walked in right now, I don't know what I'd say. No, I'd say that the comment of the day today goes to Samantha. Watching incel tier content is like making a bowl of your favorite cereal, but the milk is actually hot sauce and your house is on fire. Yeah, I don't think I've ever read something so true. I like the creepy incel replies videos because they're like barely incels, but when we make actual incel tier videos, little bit less wholesome. Okay, I'm gonna go get this fedora off. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye! <laughs>